All right, guys, got a cool one for you today. It's a first gen Ford Bronco, but it is coyote swapped. <laughs> How cool is that? Uh, so the engine itself is pretty stock. Obviously, it's got headers on it just for the swap. And uh, same deal with the cold air, kind of the necessities you have to do to swap this into something else. Um, but yeah, things neat. It's a pretty new build. It's been driven a little bit. Uh, they had the interior redone. It's been sitting for a couple of years now. Uh, was running just on a base map, which with that mass air in the uh, small diameter inlet tube that they have on this thing, it needs a lot of a lot of help on the just on the math transfer function. So I'm gonna get to work on that. But check this thing out; it is cool. This is I've done a couple of these. I think this is the second or third uh, Coyote swapped first gen Bronco that I've done. Um, but man, they are they're cool. Check out the the interior. Love that color. Definitely a, definitely a neat cruiser. This is just a, just a toy. We're not looking for a big power number or anything. Um, just to make it uh, run and drive well. Uh, so this guy can have a little fun with it. But Yeah, big old tire on there. Oh yeah, check out these steps. I forgot about that. Ha. Little, uh, little touches of modern technology here and there. Anyway, I'm going to dive into this thing and get the drivability sorted out and go from there. So it made 356 horsepower, 309 foot-pounds of torque at the tire. I was turning it to 6,700 or so, me peak power at 65 to the RPM scale down there to give you guys a reference. So pretty good looking power curve, typical of a Coyote. The numbers would be a little low in my opinion because of the 33 inch tire. I'd expect this with a normal wheel and tire combo. It's basically a, just a stock Coyote with a... Uh, uh, header on it essentially in a cold air, but I don't think that that cold air is very good It's just a little three inch tube with a mass air meter in it So I'd expect this combo on a normal wheel and tire to make in the 380 area, but uh, Plenty good for this little Bronco here I'm gonna get this thing off of here and work on the next project, but man this thing is cool I love these things one day. Uh, maybe I'll own one. I don't know. We'll see